Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 88 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. I said we'd go into there at the end of the last chapter, but in my trial run I realized there was something valuable that I could build. If I have three Albunea steels. I can finally make the silver key. Now I wasn't really waiting on the Albunea steels all this time. It was actually that last ingredient, the true pearl stone. I think I picked that up out of a goddess card, actually. And I didn't notice last time that I just needed to pick up Albunea steel again. Yes. Yes. Ooh, is this going to be a scene? Alright, I finally made the silver key. Kind of like the blue copper key that I made before, it was similar. And while it wasn't difficult to make, it took quite a while. Oh, Eel came in. Observes we made a new key. How about that? More than the key before, it's got a good feeling to it, doesn't it? Eel doesn't get it. This is some ass aesthetic thing, I guess. Yeah, Alvaro is kind of a dork in this way, anyway. No, nerd. Fia's the dork, Alvaro's the nerd. Get it straight. Anyway. Alvaro bemoans the fact that Eel doesn't get how awesome this is. Well, anyway, before that, let's hurry up and open some doors. So, at least she knows what it's good for. Avaro's thinking to himself he'd like to explain it more, though. Yeah, we're sick of your explanations, Avaro. Well, a few of his explanations have been pretty good, but... Keys? I think that one would be pretty boring, seriously. Alright, so, the scenery started to change. Let's expect the next trial soon. <laughs> oh, here it is. Some more words popped into her head. It's kind of pitiful. Well, in the sense that she is deserving of pity, not the pathetic sense. Pitiful, but she gets the headache every time one of these trials starts. <laughs> well, she's alright. It stops fairly quickly. Mm, well, if that's the case, that's all right. So, what are the words this time? The sacrifice is a friend, loyalty, a gate. The party which believes in peace spreads. What the hell kind of cryptic bulls? This time, that's what it is. Uh, again, it's mostly indecipherable. But in any case, Katorito can figure it out, right? Yes, she'll do her best. Okay, this time we're going to this mark. Yeah, that's the easy part. Oh, I should have explained on the... elaborated on this. We've seen failure conditions before, but this one's new. In this map, 
the defeat of any allied unit is failure, with the exception of the summons. Have you figured out what we need to do? Well, it's pretty simple if you know, but... Hmm... Katorito... You can go here. No. I want her to stand there because all these guys are going to be come running up in and she needs to be a bottleneck. But I want to see the room that she's that they're all coming through first. You know what? No, not there. Here. This improved statue is going to attack for the main base as well. Actually, you know what? I don't think it'll move. Ask it, I'll do it what I did in my trial run. Oh, look at that. So Risho and Sayori's job is to keep that big bad dragon off of everybody else until we deal with well, everything other than it. Hmm. Come to think of it, in my trial run I decided that Avaro needed better armor. But we seem alright for the moment, so I'll leave it. Now you is immune to physical, so this guy will never attack him. So he gets to keep that guy off our butts. For his part, however, he can't really deal any significant damage to it. Here it is, the Storm Dragon. I wonder what it looks like. It doesn't actually do much damage to Miku and Sh Mikshuana, however. Miku and Shelly. I almost said that. Hmm. You know, you'd think an angel would wear more... modest underwear. You know, good investment in cleaning supplies and you can get rid of that mold. <laughs> okay. Is this its weakness? Fire. Mm. Surely doesn't have a convenient fire attack. Mm, well, whatever. For all that is a big bad dragon and everything, it isn't that dangerous. Uh -huh. 
This is some kind of white gemstone. I wonder where I got the first one. Oh yeah, the improved Earth Dragon. Now the next turn will be hard on Mikshuana. One of those enemies isn't really dangerous, but the other one is actually pretty dangerous having a darkness attack that she is weak to. She doesn't need the healing, but that's a convenient way for me to turn off battle animations. Oh, you ugly butt... butts. Okay. Navarro has the advantage here, so I'm not going to worry too much about this. This is the one. No. No, it doesn't do much damage, and it takes a ton from her. So this one isn't dangerous, it's the next one. This one. Not only is it quite fast, it does a lot of damage. She still has an advantage in terms of raw damage capacity, though. But in case she gets a critical hit, I'd like her to take three hits. Well, those are the risks, right? Let's give the experience to Rosaline. She needs it more. Ah. Okay, get this. The Earth Dragon did that area effect. Did the area of effect attack. And it hit Rishu and Shaley and I. I now has the status effect that she doesn't remember any of her skills. Normally I would have her heal Mikshuana, but I'm going to pull her back in so she is healed automatically. Probably. And I can redeploy her next turn. Aren't you dead yet? I'm just going to take a cheap shot with something that's weak against actually. Katarito is really quite fast. Normally when throwing a capture attack your speed is reduced by 5. But even so, she gets 3 attacks on most enemies anyway. Mm, no. Q. 
keep at it, you. Eventually you'll win. Like around turn 30 or something. Oh, yes. Hi. Is your conditions better? Great. Fifteen damage times two. Yeah, she needs the experience, so let's do this. Oh. Piercing attack. The next step in dealing with this dragon is a little bit harsh because it means putting a bunch of characters in range of its area of effect attack. Well, let's do this then. How about that? If we have the dragon move one space forward, this square and this square will be free from his area of effect. But still, it does a lot of damage. I know, I'll put I here. Ice healing has a range of four, so she can heal anybody who needs it, and she'll still be out of the range as well, as long as that doesn't happen. Well, it can't do that every turn. Oh, there's Nars Dragon down here. I forgot about him. And it cursed I again. I'm going to do so much damage to you, you are going to die. You hear me? I never much talked about it, but Mikshirana has this support attack support ability. That allows you to buff a allies attack. Defense. Defense, yes. Only the physical defense, not the magical defense. And Miksha Rishon said is probably the least in need of that of all of my characters. Alright. Run back into nowhere and how obnoxious. Am I going to have to smack it with Rosalinine from his distance? Well, I probably will, yeah. Okay. Fine, we'll do this the hard way. Rosalie, you're on the artillery duty. Richard Sely, back to tanking. And Mikshana, how much damage can you deal? Um, almost enough. But she should survive. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rishu. Oh. 
行動開始だ俺の出番だな All right, time to finish this sucker off. Meek Shana can do it. And while she's kind of low on hit points, that's sufficient. Oh, a bladed earth dragon's claw. That is a claw from an earth dragon that is from a bladed earth dragon, not a claw that is bladed from an earth dragon. Did I have fight this guy last time? Oh, but seriously. Pretty much everyone needs healing. I remember. I had Rosaline fight that dragon last time. She was surprisingly effective, too. I mean, even by herself. Now this should be safe, but just in case. Oh, wait a minute. Arisha and Sally doesn't need any more experience, so I think I'll save that statue for Mikshuana. I don't even know how well she's going to be able to tackle it, though. So, as you can see, in spite of the dragon being a dragon, and Rosaline being a little girl, it doesn't really do that much damage to her. Even its ranged attack, still attacking her physically, doesn't do that much. Alright, 32 damage times 3. Ha ha ha. I, who's there to heal her just in case, is mostly just a formality. Oh crap. What kind of weapons do you have available? Ah ha ha ha. Nothing. Almost nothing, really. This will not be reduced, but... Huh. This could get ugly. Well, I can pull I back quickly enough. Let's see, nine damage. Yeah, this will work. <laughs> it reflected one of her hits. This should be fine. Oh, now it's using a ranged deck, and she's confused, so she can't use any of her specials. God, that is so obnoxious. 
Oh, how nice. I guess. She could use more magic attack, though. Hmm, since she has her level up, perhaps I'll pull back and let Mikshuana and or you kill this thing. Alright, starting off, I kill Mikshuana. Mikshuana, kill the statue. Capture the statue. Ooh, nice. Yes, that is very good. Alright, you. It's time for a capture of a dragon. Oh hey, let's see what the events are. Something's written here. Let's see. Four vessels create the foundation. And the leader, the one who becomes the leader, stands at the summit. Oh, what's that mean? Four people become a foundation and the leader at the top. I think we're too dumb to figure this out. How about you? Still cursed. No, confused. Now, if I had time with you while he was still here, I would have done this mining. Where is it? That's not it. Here it is. But in a pinch, a bit of accessory games will do the trick. Hmm. You know, I wonder if this dragon has an area of effect attack. It cursed you. Oh, these bastards. Oh, how about that? Hell, it's worth it. Won't do it too many times, but... I won't do it again. But still. does enough damage. He unfortunately is confused. Oh great. I should make more of those. Alright, capture the dragon. An earth dragon's blood. Yeah, well, that's great and all. Alright, I your job here is done. Now all that remains is getting everybody in place. 
Well, there's another thing that remains after that, but mostly it's just getting everybody in place. Let's see. I'm still missing one mining, so I'm mostly done here. And here's the mining. Alright, that was good. Now we can continue. Oh, maybe I should have mentioned. You might have observed that each of those events down here were blue, whereas this one was purple. In case those oh-so-cryptic hints weren't giving you enough information, I guess. Oops. Ah oh, well. There's always next turn. Ooh, 98%, I wonder. Is there a secret room somewhere? Yeah, bingo. Pearl steel. This is good. That's the first one I've gotten of that. It's one of those late game items. And we're good. So we passed the trial. So this was a trial that she couldn't have passed by herself. We're glad we were able to help. <laughs> well, sorry to everybody for making you come along. Well, but... In order to help everybody in the castle who's been kind to her, and also the goddess who is even now trying so hard, she's going to do all that she must. Well, well, that's the spirit. As long as you don't give up, we will help you. So, thanks so much. And let's continue. So there's the next map opening up. Yeah, a mirror pillar palace of illusions. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Hmm, regular stuff. Wait, why did Ruruin say that? We couldn't even deploy him here. Meh, whatever. So, that was that map, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.